All right, we have saved the best from last, this last example. Uh, so a canyon is 400 meters deep at its deepest point. Gabby drops a rock from the rim above this point. Don't know why she does. Hopefully it's not dangerous. Use A of T equals negative 9.8 meters per second. Per second, uh, it's acceleration due to gravity. So now we switch the units. So now we're in meters in the last example. In the last video, we were in feet. Uh, I'm not going to ever give you a problem where you ever have to convert. So if this is in meters, you're just going to stay in meters. Okay, express the height of the rock as a function of time. So we got to do the same thing. <clears throat> so we are going to integrate acceleration to give us velocity. Because if we want the height, we got to get all the way to the position. So we got to work our way up. So negative 9.8 T plus C. <clears throat> well, since she drops the rock, when she just drops it, its starting velocity is going to be zero. So if we plugged in zero for T, And set that thing equal to zero. C comes out to equal zero itself. So your velocity function is just that negative 9.8 T. Okay, so now let's integrate that to get to position. Oops. So if you integrate this, negative 4.9 T squared plus C. Okay, so we got to figure out the C. So we know how high it is when time is zero. It's 490 meters. And then we're sticking a zero in for the T. So that's going to knock that whole thing out. So C is 490. So your position function is negative 4.9 T squared plus 490. So that is the height of the rock uh, as a function of T. All right, so the last part, how long will it take to hit the canyon floor? Well, it's hitting the ground. So the height uh, of the ground or the floor is gonna be zero. So you gotta take your position function and set it equal to zero and solve it. So negative 4.9 T squared plus 490. It's equal to zero. Let's move over the 490. Divide by negative 4.9. T squared equals 100. Hey, that's kind of nice how that worked out. Hmm. Maybe it's because I wrote the problem. So square root both sides. And remember, when you square root, the plus or minus gets tacked on. But in this case, because we're working with time, time can't be negative. So just 10 seconds. So when she drops it, it's going to take 10 seconds for it to hit the ground. Okay, so that is going to do it for 5.1. Uh, so the next series of videos will be covering 4.2 or 5.2 and we're actually going to do a little bit of an application thing in the beginning of the chapter. So stay tuned and get excited for that.